start off in making a tiny motorcycle out of cheap lighters, you will need two empty butane-free cheap lighters. I find that Starlight works very well. Then, take them apart as seen. This first step is optional. If you would like your motorcycle to shoot sparks out as it moves, then put the spring back inside where it originally was. Once the spring is back in its original location, put the flint on top of it. Now, this may be a little tricky, and I would suggest using either pliers or tweezers, since the spring will launch the flint if you don't have a careful grip on it. Now, for the required step, take the scroll wheel that was originally in it and put it back in its original place. If you put the spring inside, be sure to keep your thumb holding it down so that it doesn't fly out. You'll need to do this for both of the wheels on both of the lighters. For the next step, find the small metal rod that has a spring on it. Notice how one end is conical, while the other is more circular. Place the circular end inside of a small metal cylinder that you should also have with you with the parts. Now this will be loose, so if you would like, use super glue or any kind of glue you have available to make them fit snugly. These will be the exhaust pipes of the motorcycle. Once both of your exhaust pipes are made, take the rear wheel that you made previously. Notice how there's a gap in between the side where the wheels are attached and a small rod in the middle where the spring would be. You want to jam the exhaust pipes in between this space. If it is loose, you can glue it, although most of the time you will not have to if you stick it in hard enough. Now, take the white plastic sticks that were inside of the lighters. These will form the handlebars. Find the end that has a circle on it and cut it down to size. There are two ways to do this. You can use a lighter, which is dangerous since it produces fumes, or the pliers used previous. Make it about 0.3 centimeters long. Once the sticks are cut down to size, take the ends with the circles in them and put them inside this metal piece here. This is purely aesthetics, but it makes it look like it's not hollow, which works. Once it's inside, super glue it to the stick that's coming out of the front end. I made a mistake here and attempted to attach it to the back with the exhaust pipes. Do not do this. A bike would have to be backwards for that. into the final stages now. Take the metal shield that was made to protect your hand from the flame and bend in the metal parts designed to hold the flame. This will make a U shape. This is very important. Now, take the front end of one of the handlebars and stick it on. Make sure that the clips, as you can see in the side, are towards the bottom. This is simply to hold it on better. You want it to be angled upwards more towards the handlebars. Now, take the second one from the second lighter. Break it open a bit so that it can fit over the other shield. You can bend in the bottom, but it's not required. It will fit either way. You should have something that looks like this now. A front side with a wheel, two shields, and the handlebars, as well as a back side with the wheel and the exhaust pipes. Just two steps left. Using your super glue, glue them together as shown here. The back should be angled down towards the front wheel. It 
should also be as forward as possible so that the stick is touching the back of the front. Time for the final step. Take a button from either of the lighters and put the square hole over the round peg. Normally this would be a bad thing, but here it works. Glue it down so that it looks like the seat of the motorcycle. Once the glue dries, clean it up a bit, sit back, and appreciate your work.